If you don't have a green screen, to clone yourself, you need to have a steady shot. So make sure you set your camera on a tripod. Then film yourself on a few locations within the shot. Make sure to have consistent light so you don't have to fix that in post too. So far, nothing out of the ordinary. But usually in other editing software like, let's say, Premiere Pro, you need to draw a mask around your subject manually and then keyframe it frame by frame. And here is where Resolve can make your life way easier with magic masks. So first, cut the different parts of the clip, align them and synchronize them. Video track number one will be our background layer. So no masking here. Select the first one, go to Fusion and add a magic mask after the media in node. We will display the media in in the left viewer and the magic mask in the right viewer. As you can see, the cursor has the pen icon with a plus sign. If we go in the inspector, we can see that the magic mask is under the mode add. This is exactly what we needed. And as we draw a stroke in the right viewer, you can see that the fusion is automatically cutting the subject. Of course, it won't do a perfect job with only one stroke. So in this situation, we can draw more. Here we can see that it actually added a bit too much. So to get rid of that part, we will go to the inspector and switch the mode to subtract. Now when drawing a stroke, instead of adding to the frame, we are erasing. This is indicated by the red stroke. It's basically giving Fusion better instructions. Now when we are happy with the selection, we can go ahead and track the mask. You have two settings, faster and better. Depending on the power of your machine, you can choose for yourself, but know that better always does a better job. Press on the track forwards and reverse button to track the whole clip. If it misses some frames, you can go forward and reverse individually for better results. Use the alpha channel for precise check if something is missing. Now let's place our clip on top of the background clip. And as you can see, it turned out well with no additional adjusting. Let's check this example where it didn't quite turn out the way we need it. We have this stroke on our subject. To fix that, we'll go in the Make tab in the Inspector. This tab is for green screen use, but we can take advantage of it here. And there we go. We got rid of the stroke. And that's one way on how you can clone yourself in DaVinci Resolve. And the best way to support me and the channel is by hitting the like button and subscribing. Thank you.